What's up guys, welcome back to the VG Shire channel and today I present to you a Dynexus deck profile so I've got my friend who's obsessed with uh, Dimensional Police as you can see that he has like what, four different archetypes uh, so he has been helping me out uh, do all the videos uh, for his DP deck so for now I'm just gonna end it over to him and hopefully he can explain to you what is the in-depth review of this deck so yeah, go ahead Okay, uh, in case you guys didn't know, there were, I uploaded, um, VG Shihai uploaded a video on my Dynexus deck profile and I think some of you were wondering, uh, not sorry, my Dykaiser deck profile, I think you guys are wondering when, why am I not playing Nexus, so basically, I have a own build to myself, Dynexus has a build to itself, so this is, so this is the deck to itself, so first starter, Diehawk, I think the same thing as in the last video is, it's basically, you choose 4 of your Dimensional Robo, move it to Soul And if you have a Grade 3 Dimensional Robo Vanguard, you can strike over a A Grade 4 Dimensional Robo from your G-Zone face down So, so basically, he's a He's a free strike regardless of whether you're going first or second So He's still a solid starter, but however You It's possible to be running Goyusha It's possible to run Goyusha after the new ruling is out Okay I'll go through the ruling, so basically right, a new ruling is if at the start of a third, it's either both both fighters are at grade three or at the start of a third, yeah, in grade three, you, you are able to strike. So basically, if you want to get get a grade three out when your opponent's a grade one, you are able to go and get a first strike, first strike out instead of it, having Diehawk. So that's after new ruling, but for now, Diehawk will still be the better option, but he's up to off to consideration. Uh, next, the main boss card of the deck, I think, uh, Dynexus. Okay. Basically, he's he's the new main main card that basically on on strike doesn't have to be a D robot in name and it, as long as it's strike will do counter blast one choose a G, uh, great three from the drop zone send it to the bottom of the deck and look at the top four cards of the deck and superior call one of them and your vanguard gets the original power so it's a bit similar to blonde Ezo just that you recycle a great three okay and also generation break one your great three dimension robot gets plus ten k intercept okay. Now, when this card was first released, it's, it was very questionable when how how would the robot the direction of the robot be taking. So because thinking about it, right, is it loses a lot of threat that Dai Kaiser had, like the brain right lesion combo and Dai Kaiser Leon. Even you lose Dai Bazooka in the process. All of these require have Kaiser name. So when this first when this first came out, I was thinking like the whole of the mission robot will be making a new direction. So. I can see what direction he's going into now. So he's, he's compared to Dykaiser, Dynexus is more more def more defensive and more consistent as Dykaiser is more of your more of YOLO if you are able to get get great trees, you are able to win the game and, and you start second crease or whatever. Yeah, that was how Dykaiser is like. But now D Robo is like is slightly more consistent now with Dynexus. Okay. Uh one downside which we did not we did not get a side grade three for D robots, but by no means we do not have any any good ones. We actually we have quite decent ones to be honest. Uh, for the one I'll be running is uh reverse Dayusha and great and the great Dayusha. So I'll go through both of their skills. Basically, the, uh reverse Dayusha skill count. Let me break counter blast one. Lock two of your own rear guards, and you can choose your opponent Vanguard. You get minus five thousand minus ten thousand battle until end of turn. And Great Dayusha, uh, limit, uh, limit break, limit, limit break four. If you have three or more dimensional moves, so he gets plus two k and a crit. And both of them have the skill. If you have a Dayusha in, in, in your in your in your soul, they both gain plus two k. So yeah. And one more thing, Rivers Dayusha has is a lot. Okay. Now the thing is the great tree, the side other than Nexus, the side the great trees in this deck are very flexible. There's different options that you can choose to be running. You can. You can play. You can choose to play the Legion in place of this Reverse Dayusha, or this Reverse Dayusha, or you are even able to play the Break Right if you want to. But this is the one I'm, I'm more suitable with. I'm more comfortable with because it's more consistent with Dayusha names. So that's that's it for the Great Three. I'm current total eleven. Great Three counts is eleven. And at the same time, if you play Reverse Dayusha, it's very good to counter against that like Dubatama. Because of okay. innate skill, and then if you just call Reverse Dayusha, they come and attack, so GB3 is just basically useless. 
Okay, next is Dimensional Robo Daibo or Daibo in Dai Boy in English. Okay, basically his skill is when this is you need space or bang out a rear guard circle. If you do not have a great three dimensional bow or you don't review one from your hand, you lose one spike at the end of turn. Um, and also next is if you have a great four vanguard, your great three dimensional bow rear guards and himself get plus five k. So basically he's okay. For this, okay for in Dai Dai Kaiser, this could be a two off because it's one of the eleven k body. So do not get rushed. But for this deck. This is very essential because most of the time you, you may be having great trees on the rear guard and I feel that they, this this okay in the difference I feel from Dai Kaiser compared to Dai Nexus is Dai Kaiser relies on you drive checking great shield while in Nexus your great trees are basically yeah basically using great trees as your rear guard your guardian so basically it's more consistent so this plays a part whereby it raises the power of your great tree D robots so I find it is a four off. next. A card which, at first I did not how how I felt about it. I at first I felt this is would be a two off in Thai Nexus, but no, it, it proved me wrong. I fit this and this die crusher. At first, okay, I first started in Thai Nexus as a two copies as I, I prioritized cards like uh die jet which recycles a great tree like them quickly, but and I feel that he's very not necessary because he's he kept he kept the the. The the purpose of dry checking great tree in the deck, but he gains power for it, not like gut breaking as how Daikai used to be. But but after after thinking about it, right, is the thing about this deck is supposed to be more more firepower. It's more a bit similar to the old D robots, like all power 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 to Vanguard and a bit of power to the side and just swing to swing to your opponent. Yeah. So right. Oh yeah. Sorry, I'll I'll go through his skill into detail when this plays on on bank on Rega Circle. If you have a Great tree. If you have a great three D robot or greater, you may soul charge one. If the card soul charge D robot, this unit get plus two thousand power until end of turn. So basically, it fixes when is is a eleven k meter by itself. So you'll be able to hit most things. Maybe not not like the new gallop or any cross rise number. Yeah, and the second skill generation break one, where this unit charge with a great tree, he gets plus ten k better ten k until end of end of the turn. Uh, sorry, I think end of the battle. So basically, he. Gets magic number like crazy. The num just because of I mean, you in this deck, you are running like eleven great trees, and if if you were to check them, he's just a twenty one k beater. So it's you are making opponent commit an extra ten k when defending for him. So I feel that he's quite needed in this deck. Uh, next a card which I don't really like in this deck, but it still works out sometimes is Diabolus or Diabolus in Japanese by social release. Okay. His skill is on place. You give your Vanguard a skill when you, this unit attacks. Counter blast one. You can draw a card. Now, the I did not like this card is because one, it's a on, okay. It's a on place skill, so it's a one use. So it's more early game, not really late game. Late game, he's pretty not much. He's pretty much useless late game. Two, it sucks out counter blast very quickly. And in this deck, right, your count your counter charge and it is really weak because. In Dai Kaiser, you used to have Dai Bazooka who will so who will counter charge for you like a randomly. You dry check, you will be able to counter counter charge, but that's not the case with this deck. So you have to rely on your G guards or go through later or your huge trigger to get you counter charge back. So I don't really like him. Another op option you can run instead of him is probably you can you can probably take one of him out or one of Dai Po out to add in one one or a few copies of Dai Jet if you want to, because Dijet recycles a trigger tree for you if you feel if you are running our tree like example you are playing against Nubatama let's say for example you want to get if you are, you want to try a lot on getting some lot you need and which in this case is reverse Dayusha if you are able to get him back it means you are you are taking one attack you away away from Rene so Dai Dijet is an option oh yeah I'll give you I'll go through skill again uh act once per turn choose one card. Choose a great shield hero from your drop zone, send it back to the bottom deck, and shuffle. Your Vanguard get plus 4k, and your Vanguard gets skill. When this unit attack hits, you may counter plus 1, draw 1. Basically, the, the idea of this card is to recycle great tree, so he's an alternative. Uh, okay. That's, okay, that's about it for grade 2. Uh, total grade 2 counts is currently 11, but feel free to drop. If, you're, if you want to, feel free to drop 1 grade 3. 
either reverse Zyrusha or Dyrusha away, uh, drop one for another grade 2 because two, 10 grade 2s is dangerously low, I would say, to be honest. Now, next. For the mentionable Dimagno. So basically, he is a PG, a uh, Sentinel effect. So basically, when place on Guardian, you discard one for the for non effect. But he has another skill. He has that defensive skill whereby when this this unit is placed on Guardian, Guardian Circle, this unit gets plus a total of four thousand. This unit gets plus four thousand for each card. In, your Vanguard gains plus four thousand for each card in your soul. So basically, it raises your power up. So if you are playing against, let's say, Daikaiser, which breaks your shield, it, it will not break because you are raising your power instead of him getting the shield. So for this Dynexus, the chances of you having a thick soul for it to be enough to guard through is quite high because. This deck so charges quite a bit as compared to Die Kaiser because you because of thing, things like Die Crusher, you are so charging once when you're on place, you have Die Hop with Sense 4 into Soul. So basically, chances are you will have the enough so you will have enough so for him to trigger the, the second skill, but he's an option to run. But because of the deck's consistency, right, I have I will choose to run him over having Grand Monk, which Grand Monk will be the better Sentinel, however. Because of consistency issue, it does not have the dimensional one name. I feel that Diamagnet will be the better option to run in the deck. Next, uh, the mentionable die supporter. Now, when this card was first released, this was very confusing. But after playtesting, all I get, I get what what this tech, the text meant. Basically, he's he's a great trade in two situations. One, when you're paying for the cost of strike. Two. When you are selecting a card from your drop zone as a cost for your skill. So basically the idea of this is he can he can he will serve as a great shield for both Dynexus Dynexus and Dijet. So he counts as a great in these two scenarios. Which oh yeah, and also when you are when you when you're striding with this unit, you choose a card in your drop zone, you can move it to soul. So basically yeah the most ideal target to be to be break taking out from your drop zone will be Dibatos. Because he gives you a free three thousand power where you put out your soul to a vanguard, so he will be your main target if you were if you were to choose a card from Johnson to put his soul. Which see, this Dynexus is a very strike reliant deck, which I feel that three copies will be ideal. But feel free to <coughs> But since because you you're playing so many great trees, um current total count is great tree is eleven. You may what you you can you can drop one of these for another great tree if you want to feel very ballsy and playing twelve great trees, but by all means, you can try it, but three feels right. Feels right for me for this deck. Next, okay. Now I have another five five more slots for great ones, and this can be very. This can vary depending on how you choose to go around with, around it. Okay, this is the one that I personally choose to be running first. Is command uh dimensional robo die cannon. Basically, his skill is act. Choose him and another D robo and, and put it into soul. And choose your Vanguard if Dayusha is cutting it, it gets a crit until end of turn. Now, it's because of this card, right? It's because of this, this is why I'm playing Fuan Dayusha support as backup. That's why I can safely run him. But he's a not, not a must have if you I would totally ask you to take him out if you are gonna play the Legion as the backup grade 3 because he's he only works in Dayusha is cutting, so even if you are Legion it will not work. Next Okay, the last two is Diraptor. Now, at first, <laughs> at first I didn't really like this card as it contradicts. Okay, no, my first mentality of 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 the this card when it was it was released was it was very weird because right the main idea of D robots is you getting great trees from your deck as to gain power, gain advantage, guard break or guard break etc. However, yeah, few, okay, I'll go through his skill. He on place, check the top 5 cards of the deck. If there's a mill up, uh, you can choose 2 after 2 of your great ship, put it to drop zone. And if you, you place 1 plus 4k, you place the second one, you get to draw a card. And then shuffle the deck. Okay, as I was saying, thinking about it, you are supposed to be checking great trees to be doing your doing your stuff in the robots in general, card breaking, uh, getting, advantage, getting power boosts, or destroying shield. Yeah, however, yeah, discarding your great trees to your I was wondering why. Why would you want to ever do that when you are when you want to keep your great trees in your deck? But re-looking at it now, 
the idea of this is he's a very early game card whereby when okay when you're when you're going to die hawk maybe you're doing a first try chances are you will not have a great tree in your drop zone for you to be doing do it to, to trigger Dynexus skill so right he gets the great tree over there for you for you to send him back so that's the i feel that this is a two off if you want to if you can you want to choose to play in this deck by all means he's a decent card but at first i didn't like him but as of now my impressions start to change because of how the robot's dire direction is going as of now now some other uh, some other backup great ones you may want to consider for great for great ones is you can okay if you were to choose to play the legion as okay you were to play Dai Kaiser legion as the witchery support i would say totally take the cocannon out because he's totally he lo lost his purpose because he's basically to support the the, the Yusha support to gain crits on Braver Speak turns, stuck turn, stuck turns, yeah. So basically, you you won't be needing him to be honest if you are going to play Legion as support. Instead, another option you can be running is Laura. I'm I'm pretty sure all DB players should know who is he. Well, your Vanguard take he choose four of your regards, rest in and stand on Vanguard. Basically, it's very simple. He generates hand size, but however, I do not like. I don't really like the idea of having Laura in this deck because of how much consist consistency you need to have in this deck. The moment you get okay on the Magna Diver turn, the moment you check a Laura you and you get a great it feels very salty about it, but you won't be getting any coverage in. So but he is still possible you can still run him. I would suggest you may want to take two go cannon out. Uh and one of, uh, oh, you may want to take all the gold cannon out, two of them for laurels, and one more for another director. It seems fine, it's fine. It's either that or you can o you can always play the 10k attacker if you want to have early pressure. Because <coughs> the, the the idea of this is basically, I, I'll, I'll go and I'll rush, I'll try to rush you as much as possible, and I'll start pressuring you with di diaper turns wherever by getting great trees, burning your shield, making you commit more to guard. That's the main idea. That's, one of the few agenda that this deck will be going for. So these are the these are the suggest great one I can suggest to you to, to be trying out. <laughs> Next, triggers. Triggers is it can be flexible if you uh, the way you choose to play the deck. First is the brand new dimension over die drop. Basic. He's a very he's very simple, but to be honest, he's very good. Basically, move into the soul, give your Vanguard plus 4,000 if he's grade 4 or greater, and you get a draw a card. Now, he fuels your soul for, for die bird, for, for turns, you want to get a bit of extra power if to, to make that, to hit that magical number, you know, let's say for example, you were to, you were to call out a 9k base, let's say with, we call out die, die Ballast or die Crusher, you get the last 4k to make, to make the magic number count, the 13k. Yeah, so it's probably to pump out the number a bit, so I'm pretty sure he's, He's okay, and assuming, okay, assume on diver turns, the more if you were to check a stand, you are making, you are making your opponent commit more. You can attack. Okay, you got again. I'm gonna solve. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start to burn your shield. Yep. So you can play more stands. To be honest, I would not. I would suggest you can try, but I prefer having some crit pressure over in this deck. So it brings us to a total of eight great trees. Four of them. Okay. Oh yeah. <coughs> four of them being uh, Dimensional Robo Die Battles and four and four of Dimensional Robo Die Moon. So now eight great zeros, right? Not eight great trees. Sorry, so sorry. <laughs> okay. So basically, so basically die battles need to be I would suggest die battles to be maxed out because as I said, with the with die supporter, you just you can pick a card in drop zone, you can shove it into your soul and give four K and if you want to make another if you want to just try to use that three thousand to make magic numbers Die battles will do it for you if you want if that's an option. However, <coughs> there is another great one where I would see I would I won't see any wrong in playing, and that will be operate operator girl Linka. Basically, uh so sorry, give me a moment. Uh Linka is this stand trigger. It's a stand trigger. Yes, this. You can choose to drop two two crates to play, let's say two of her just for the stand. But same same concept as why why conventional in Laurel, the consistency issue will be there when you're on die button, but he can be run. Basically, I'll go through his skill. Uh, move me into skill. A, what? Her skill. Okay, I'll go through his skill now. 
Basically, you move into so her skill. Sorry. Her. It's okay, her. her skill. Okay, fine. Her skill. So basically, his skill. Her skill is you move into so. Uh, you choose. You ch you get a draw a card if your Vanguard is twenty k or greater, and also if it's thirty five k or greater, your Vanguard your Vanguard with burst ability gain the skill. When you try to reveal Grishy, so plus one, you can choose a a unit of a, a opponent of a uh, unit you cannot be hit defense on another fight. Basically, it's simply as breaking through a Kanzen with a, um, a check of grade three. Now, the only time that where where this is being useful is when on on turns you go into Braver Speak because the condition is having have a, having a burst Vanguard. So the only burst you'll be having is with probably Braver Speak, but it only serves that that one purpose that that one purpose of giving the pressure of guarding and two and two is basically what serves as stand for divert for divert to feel more pressuring yeah you can always play two of hit her i won't see why not but you can always try it out for yourself maybe you can leave a comment if it really works if it really works for you okay next uh four heals rare standard operator girl Cathy. basically she's the new heal you have another heal in your drop zone you can when it's made for cost for G guard, you can bind her another heal to either counter charge or soul charge one. Yeah, chances are <coughs> for this card you will be going for the counter charge because this deck runs through counter blasts like crazy, and you probably have to get them back as soon as possible for you to do, uh, do your other other place. So yep, he's a max. She's a max of four. Next, we are moving on to G zone, which I. Some of uh, some have some pretty old cards, but I think they are still around. First, our first strike is still the same, which will be uh ninety nine gen uh sorry ninety nine gen. What's the full name of it? Of it? Ninety nine gen dimensional robo. Ro uh, uh, yes, I die. Okay, I just like die of. So basically, his skill is. Uh, add counterblast to so uh unflip a card the same name. You can get the superior call a great three and great two dimensional robo. It's very generic. It's still your first try for D robos as because think because as the only new strike that we gotten for D robot is only Magnus Diver, which I think he will be more effective on second strike onwards. Basically, the and also he gets a crit if you have two dimensional buffet sign G zone. I chances are I'm gonna say don't even don't even think about having the crit because you will not be seeing this after first strike. To be very honest, so he's still our first try for you to get get for you to box out and. If the units are still alive after next turn, you can probably go to dive, 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 Magna Divert for more pressure. So yeah, either that or you can go. You can always go to Dimex. So he's still a two off for first try. Now, the new the new boss monster of the deck, which at first I hated this a lot. I felt that this was just a tech slot for the robots, but the idea of this card, whoa, okay, my, this Magna Divert. So basically, his, his skill is Persona Flip, and your Vanguard's gain the skill, whenever a Guardian is being placed, you may so blast one, look at the top 3 cards of the deck. If they are all Dimensional Robo, and one of them is the Great Tree, add a Great Tree to your hand. If a card was added by its effect, you choose one of your opponent Guardian, with direct, and no, it does not burn Sentinel effect, because Sentinel gives your, gives your Vanguard the, the cannot be hit skill, so it does not burn Sentinel effects. So. Basically, he's the main reason why I do not like the idea of running Linka and Commander Laurel because the moment you get a great tree in one of the top three cards and get Laurel, it gets very salty about it, and you're not able to come to break to break through. But that's why that's why I feel that this whole deck needs to be very consistent. And <coughs> at first, I thought my impression on this was supposed to be it was supposed to be pressure a uh, pressure card like. Is this just a, a report of the Kaiser Leon or something like that? But no, this is that, that was so wrong. One, your great trees in your hand will become tank trees because of the Nexus. Yeah, suppose his the idea of this is you're basically filtering out your great trees out of the deck, getting tank trees for yourself to defend with, which I find this card amazing after playing playing a while with it. But in the Kaiser, it can it can be a two off if let's say for example it can be your first try if. Your opponent chooses to deny your second counter blast for your die earth play. You can always go to him and make your opponent pressure to. Who knows? Maybe you'll be getting a crit. They may want to commit a bit of, a bit of defense. You can so blast, get some creature in your hand. Yeah, do be a filtering. So, but for this, it's a fault of in die nexus for my personal opinion. Okay, next. Okay, 
final dim okay so, uh, it's like okay i'll just call it dimax i don't really know the full name of this card but okay i'll go on with the skill persona fleet and for one okay this has three effects what one part of it is if you have a card with dimensional over in its heart in your heart he gains plus 10,000 power next if there's two cards face up in your g zone he gains a crit and if there's four face up in your g zone your whole front row with dimensional over in his card gain plus 5k and one crit so He's there if... Okay, he's punishing when your opponent's at 4 cards, you have basically 4 damage. If they are at 4, you are basically commit, making them commit to guard every single attack. So basically, basically, let's say you have formation out, let's say you can, let's say guard 5k. But okay, let's say I have a 9k out, 5k guard, okay, maybe I attack your vanguard, I get a stand, you have to guard again. Because the crit stays on the whole turn. And your vanguard by itself is 41k. It's 41k with a 3 crit pressure on... Having four face on G, G zone, so basically, I would say he's an answer to Link Joker, but there are better options to counter Link Joker. With, but he's still an option, but chances are he'll be your he'll be there when you're when you're forced right, and when your opponent have, when your opponent has five damage, there's not really no point in this card. You have better things to do at at five damage. You have like you have to start. You can you can always go into. Raven Speed, we have GBA, you can go into whenever your opponent has 5 damage. But at 4, he's perfect, to be honest. Next. Okay. What? Uh, one is Raven Speed X Gallop. So basically, his skill is when this unit attacks, counter plus 1, choose a card in your G zone and turn it face up. And your Vanguard gain the skill. If when, when this unit, okay, you, if your power is 40k or more, it gets plus quad drive, and at the end of battle, if this unit's power is 80k or more, choose, okay, this unit withstands and minus 4 drives, and at first I know it sounds very hard to achieve, but no, it, well, after we come to Generation Break 3 skill, that's a different thing. Generation Break 3, this unit can plus 10,000 power for each card placed up in your G zone. Yes. So this is the card whereby I mentioned where you can combo Linka with. He's the only unit in the first in the whole deck. So you can you can, you you are you are basically if you are depending on how many you have a Gizon, Chris and Gizon, a minimum gonna swing for eighty thousand. And having putting Linka in, you are, you, are com, you may be committing your you are maybe asking your opponent you are uh, a sentinel. Okay. I may be checking which you won't know. So yeah, basically asking your opponent to commit more to guard. Maybe drop a second PG just to defend through this. That's why Linka can be an option in this deck. But he's he can be a one-off, but I'll come to that later. Next, 1GB8. This is okay, to be very honest, this is one of the best GB8s compared as maybe maybe let's say Ground Blue is better or something, but this is one of the be better ones. Basically it's this card is so simple. When this unit attacks for each of your rear guard, he gets plus ten thousand and one crit. And at the end of the battle, if this unit is eighty k or more, your rear, your all your rear guards get plus ten k for each crit. So basically, after this unit attacks, you'll be giving sixty k for all of your rear guards. So basically, you'll be adding hundred twenty k columns for each side. Now, this this to be honest, this is a this is very straightforward and every it's very easy to achieve GB in this deck. He flips everything everything in your deck flips. This magna like magna diver die earth they all flips. So but you should if you were the G guard, let's say you'll be able to strike you'll be able to strike him already. So I feel that GBA is a must have in this deck to be very honest. Now we have a final slot. Now this third this third slot can be can be very random. It's up it's totally up to you. If you are feeling very rich, you can always play the start uh, one start. Okay, he's an ultimate strike. Pay the same cost of a Vanguard, counter blast two. Uh, this unit when this unit attacks, it does not rest, and this unit minus one drive, and this unit attacks three times. Now, and uh, he's pretty expensive, but I can see why you can do running. He's not really necessary in this deck, to be very honest. You can choose to run something else. You can always play a second Braver Speak, or I find this quite a spicy idea is running a sec uh, second GP8. Because I find myself in a situation whereby a second GB is very effective. One GB may not be able to kill my opponent because let's say we are playing against Luat, where their Kansas are like unli they are unlimited, they you always get it back. So they may always have a second Kansas every time. So you can always run him if you want to. Now, okay, so these are the few options you can run him. And who knows? Okay, and maybe when you're on your X D turns, you can always unfreak one, one the first GBA and make opponent like think that 
okay, you flip your GP8, chances are I won't have to worry about it. Then, so, so sorry, but I might play a second GP8. So, it's more of a mind game, so if you want to play that, you want, if you want, you can always play two GP8s, that's why. That's from my point of view. Now, as for the G-Guts, first is Atlantis Dolphin, the one from the Fighters Collection. I'll go through his skill. Uh, when this unit plays on Guardian Circle, and when you're, oh, this can only defend your Vanguard. You choose a card in your G zone and turn it face up. Oh yeah, I made a mistake when having a game against against the Victor, so I apologize for that, it was a misplay. So basically, you choose a G Guardian and turn it face up, and this unit gets plus 5k shield for each card, each of your rear guards. And then, if the shield is 30k or more, you get a soul charge one and you counter charge one. Now, I feel this is case to all because as what I mentioned earlier, your counter charge engine is very weak in this deck. The only way you'll be counter you'll be counter charging is with the huge trigger. It, because you lose the engine like let's say uh like Dai Bazooka we had in Dai Kaiser, so he's yeah, very desperate for the counter charge and I feel that he plays a very important role in it. Next the X Caribou. He's he's so simple to be very honest. We just, when you're, whenever whenever you're Place on Guardian Circle, whenever place on Guardian Circle, as long as you, the attack is 30k or more, he gets a free 10k shield. He's a free 20, 25k guard on a 30k or greater attack. And then you may discard, you may discard one to give your mega plus 4k power until end of turn. Which, this is very, I would say discarding one card for 4k is nice, but there's a card better than to do that with other than this because it's basically to deal with like small pokes and I think small pokes, chances are they, they are not going to reach the, the 30s so you can play one of him next is the new Zyu Giga which to be honest I love this Giga a lot okay so basically I'll go through his skill when this unit plays on Guardian Circle you may soul blast one and choose the choose a unit of opponent choose one of your opponent unit he gets minus 5k for that battle so for that battle only so don't go and when, it's, when your unit attacks, you soul blast, you can soul blast to take 5k away from another unit, it's only for that battle. And then, when this, where if you have equal or more damage than your burn, you may counter blast one to give your vanguard plus 5k power on the end of turn. Now, that, that second skill is so good. Against, against turns of Mujin Lord, you are saving so much cards just to defend the Mujin Lord from Nubatama. And not, even, even with uh gears time lead build the all the 5k pokes it saves it saves you so much cut just for the extra 5k you, you get with your vanguard so i think this should be a one off because of all the, to do all these pokes the final g guard you'll be so charged you'll be so blasting like if you remember from my die cause that is I, I ran reducing monster weaking which that takes up two souls very quickly so yeah and die cause does not so charge as quickly as die nexus does so this this is a must this I feel that it's a must play in Dynexus. So yeah, that's basically my deck profile of my Dynexus. Okay, so thank you very much guys. Um this video might be a bit long, uh thirty three minutes uh around there. Or uh, close to twenty four, so thank you very much to my friend. Um I'll probably ask him to do uh maybe his gallop deck in the future if you guys want it. So yeah, post any comments, uh if you wanna, you know, tell my friend anything about his uh anything bad or whatever about his d robot deck so yeah thank you very much guys for watching so like comment subscribe this is vg shi and i'm out peace